What's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here. So as you can see in front of you, this is what we'll be cracking into today to end the week off. The Celebrations Pikachu V Union box. Now as I've mentioned previously, there's actually two versions of this box here. This is the standard one. Uh, it comes with, there's all the information there. So four regular, or I'm sorry, two regular packs and four Celebrations packs with all that stuff there. The other version of this is like an upgraded version to this. It's like 10 to $15 more. It comes with a play mat. Now, my personal opinion, uh, I don't think it's worth it because the playmat is nothing fancy. Uh, if you guys saw that new binder that I picked up um, for celebrations, it's pretty much that same layout with the 25th anniversary emblem on it. So, I don't know, teach their own. If anyone's bought it, let me know what you think, if you thought it was worth it. But, uh, yeah, I was just glad to get this one. So, I also found this code uh, sitting on the counter. So, uh, let's see if that one's active. Let me know if you guys claimed it. But, uh yeah, let's crack right in this one. So as much as I wanted to continue on with yesterday's video, if you guys haven't seen it, you're more than welcome to pause this. I won't get mad at you, I promise. Um, go pause this video, go check that out. Um, but as much as I wanted to crack into the second part of that video, I wanted to get this knocked out, especially because it's one of the last Celebrations products I need to open. And uh, yeah, I want to see if I can get any more cards for my uh, the classic collection. So. Let's get this out, let's take a look at it. I like the yellow packaging on there, I think it's kind of neat, or like that plastic. Obviously there is the V Union Pikachu, uh, if you're not familiar. Uh, all the Pikachus on here from different artists throughout the history of Pokemon, which I think is pretty cool. So you got like the derpy Pikachu there, you got the, the push cheeks, you know, just all the different kinds, all the different artwork. It's, it's pretty impressive to see how much Pikachu has changed over time, so. I think it's really, really awesome. But uh, let's take a look and see what else we got in here. Um, flip over the back. So let me get that code for you guys. Actually, I'm just going to try and cover that up. So there you go. Um, there's your code. Best of luck to whoever gets that. Um, and then it has that trainer card in the back. I'm just going to leave these in here for right now. Um, this is the last V Union uh, uh, actual product that's out available right now, at least in English. Uh, I want to try and get the Japanese ones, but they're still a bit expensive. But uh, if anyone has or anyone knows where I can find some reasonably priced, uh, especially the other three, um, definitely let me know. I want to see if I can pick them up. But uh, yeah, I have all the V Union products now. So uh, get all those promos in my binder and uh, just go from there. So not too bad. Again, this is another one of those products that I mentioned previously. Kind of wish they had more celebrations packs. Um, but I mean, obviously, you know, the big focus here is the V Union card and the Jumbo card. I get that. But you only get four Celebrations packs and then two regular packs. Uh, I think six would have been a much better lineup there. But uh, you guys let me know in the comments if you think the Celebrations products have been pretty fair with the packs. Or maybe I'm just being uh, a little greedy. So here we go. Four Celebrations packs. We'll open those second. But we get two pretty solid packs. We've got Battle Styles and Darkness Blaze. Let's start off with Darkness of Blaze and see what we can get here. All right, I feel like it's been forever since I've shot at this angle, and I really do like this one because I get to see the backdrop and everything. But uh, I don't know, you guys let me know, do you like the front view better or the top down? Um, and just a little bit of a spoiler, I guess, I am looking at getting a new mat, a new play mat for the top down angle. Um, not gonna so tell you what it is, but uh, so there's actually two options. I guess I'll give you a little info. I'm either going to get the same exact one that I have, but just a newer one, or there's a really, really awesome one that I want to get. Um, you guys let me know if you really like this one or you want to see a different one down there. And then, you know, I'll probably put the new one out, see if you guys like it, and then just switch back and forth. Anyway, Shinodic as the reverse, and, and oh, nice. So even with a green code card, we got that hollow. Very, very nice. I'll take it. Speaking about code cards, and I'm going to go over this in uh, the next Fusion Strike opening that I do. So there's a new style of code cards in uh, starting from Fusion Strike. So we'll take a look at that. We'll test it on maybe one or two packs uh, just to see um, how it actually plays out. It's still kind of the same thing where there's like like a white code and then there's like a like a like a black code. But uh, like I said, we'll take a look at it, test it out, and. Uh, if you've already tested it out and you've kind of gone through it, is it legitimate or not? Is it similar to what we already have in the other packs? Or is it just another weird gimmick? Um, we'll have to take a look. All right, Per Ugly is reverse and nice, Stoutland V. Very, very nice. Not too bad to get an ultra rare out of two regular packs. I'll gladly take that. Let me move these off to the side here. 
And let's crack into what I've been super excited for, more celebrations. So I only have one more celebrations product to open up. Um, I may have another one on the way. I say may because I haven't decided if I want to order it or not. But I'm kind of at the point now because I've ordered and pretty much opened up all the different celebrations products besides the ultra premium collection, which uh, can't afford anytime soon. Um, I'm going to start trying to grab any, oh, man, any, <laughs> it's Pikachu, very, very nice. Um, I'm going to try and grab uh, any of the celebrations products I've already opened uh, and just get one for my sealed collection, uh, especially because some of them are fairly cheap if you can get them at retail. Like I know like the Dragapult Prime, you can get for like 15, 20 bucks. Uh, you know, just some of those boxes, again, that I've already opened. Uh, I just want to add, uh, you know, some for my sealed collection because I just have a feeling just like how Generations was, it will go up in price over time. And then when they stop printing it, it's going to get very expensive. Plus, I think it'd be great to just have that as part of my collection going forward. So, uh, yeah, definitely show you guys as I start getting those in. All right, so we have ho -Oh, and we obviously just had Palkia there. Let's see who's behind this. Groudon. Every time I see that, for some reason, I'm thinking Charizard, but it's all right. And a Soul Galio. So I actually need two more or one more of these. For some reason, Soul Galio has like such a low pull rate, and I have no idea why. But uh, yeah, I've only pulled two out of all the celebrations I've opened up, which is kind of crazy. But uh, I kind of need it for my complete art set of each card. If that's what I'm going for. So the only other tough part is going to be. <laughs> And again, I was actually surprised to get even one of them, but uh, I need to pull four more, yes, four more of the gold shiny Mews, which uh, probably won't happen, uh, but uh, if I want to do my complete set like I'm hoping for, nice, very nice, got Cleffa there, the old classic collection card, and a Surfing Pikachu, very nice. Um, but yeah, if I want to do it like I'm hoping for, um, I'm going to need four of each one, so like, I already have four Zacians, four Zamazentas, four Professor Oaks Research, um, pretty much four of everything else besides Soul Galio and uh, the four gold Mews. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be able to complete that, but I think it'll be a cool binder to have uh, once that's all said and done. Obviously, I'm not getting uh, full, you know, four cards of each of the classic set. Um, some I could probably manage, but some are very expensive, um, and I'm still missing some. So, maybe once I get the whole set complete, I'll look into that, but. Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know if you think it's a good idea or I should just be <laughs> stuck with the one set that I have. All right, so last pack here. Let's see what we can get. Kyogre. Another Groudon. Come on. Yes, let's go. Blastoise. That's exactly what I want. I've already pulled it, but hey, obviously I'm on to see Blastoise all day long. Uh, super excited to see that. Let's see what's behind it. And another Serving Pikachu. So what a two-piece to end it off. Very, very nice. It'd be interesting to see both of them surfing at the same time, or at least like Blastoise just out and about. So let me sleeve up that Blastoise. So I'm trying to get as many of these as I can. Uh, luckily enough, for some reason, uh, these Blastoise cards are pretty cheap right now. I think they're nine to 10 bucks a piece. So I'm definitely gonna try and stack up on as many of those as I can afford. I'm not trying to go too crazy here, but uh, I just wanna have a really good collection. So if I ever get around to grading any cards, I'm gonna send in as many as I can and uh, see if I can get any 10s. I think it'd be great to add to my collection along with all the other Blastoise cards that I eventually want to get graded just for the sake of them being secured. But uh, yeah, not too bad. So out of those couple packs, let's take a look and see what we got. So we got plenty of Pikachus like usual. We got two Surfing and that regular full art one from the original artwork. We got the classic Cleffa here, very, very nice. And again, I love the texture on there. It looks really, really awesome. A lot of people are saying that uh, a lot of these classic cards are getting really awesome hollow bleed. And what that is, is just like obviously the hollow foil pattern. Instead of ha just having that texture, you have that hollow foil over the entire card. I also just realized right where Clefairy is, you see that? Got a little bit of shine there, it's pretty neat. But of course, the big hit here for me at least is this absolutely beautiful Blastoise there. So that is number two for collections. Um, wait, collection, no, celebrations, my goodness, no. I don't want this to go to collections. No, that's super weird. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, so there's another Blastoise there. And uh, yeah, and of course, obviously I have to show off the Pikachus one more time, the V Union and the Jumbo card. Super cool cards there. Um, I think the V Union cards are okay. As a collector, it's a little bit clunky, but hey, you know what? I like the artwork on them, so I can't really complain. 
But that's going to do it for me, guys. Again, stay tuned. Another packed week of openings, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. That's going to do it for me. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.